Welcome to Sandwiches of History Vacation Edition. Our guest host today hails from the Great White North, which is, of course, Canada, in case you didn't know that. Uh, you know, uh, the guest hosts get to choose a sandwich, or they can have me choose a sandwich. Today, uh, our guest host chose his sandwich, and he chose a doozy. Groundhog Day? No? All right. Anyway, um, our guest host today is going to be joining Jim Beheimer from Sandwich Tribunal and myself in co-hosting the upcoming podcast, Sandwich Talk. You can follow him on Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube. Please welcome John, a.k.a. Sandwich Dad. Happy birthday, John. Hello. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. In for Barry today, I'm Sandwich Dad. Today's sandwich from history is also a sandwich of Canada. Today I bring you from East Coast Living Magazine, I'm not sure the date, the lime jelly and tuna sandwich. Here's what we'll need. First, we'll make the lime jelly. Full packet of lime jelly powder, to which we add half a cup of boiling water. We'll stir that up, and then we'll put it in the fridge to let it partially set for about half an hour. Now that our jelly is partially set, We'll mix it up a little bit. Yes, yes, very appetizing. And to that, we'll add a can of tuna, drained, of course, a bit of salt, pepper, about a half a cup of diced celery, half a cup of chopped red onion, and half a cup of mayonnaise. Mix this all together. Oh, boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Okay, and then on to some whole wheat bread. We will spoon on our delicious mixture. Put it all together. Now it's my understanding that on the east coast of Canada, this is often a funeral sandwich or a wedding sandwich, a tea sandwich as it were. Though often eaten straight up like this, the recipe suggests that it be cut into fun shapes and left in the refrigerator to set up for a little while longer before serving. For today's fun shape, I'm going to use a dinosaur. And reveal. All right, well, let that sit up in the fridge for another half an hour or so. Okay, our dinosaur is back from the fridge firmed up a little. I'd say the filling has taken on the consistency of maybe like a scrambled egg, which is interesting. I also made a backup regular sandwich, which has also been cured in the refrigerator. All right, let's give this lime jelly and tuna sandwich a go. It's not bad. The artificial lime flavoring is less jarring than you'd think it would be. The texture also isn't quite as bad as you think it would be. I am going to try to plus it up, though. The one thing this sandwich is missing is a little bit of heat, and I was thinking about a few things that Barry actually sent to me, from bomba sauce to some chili crunch, but I think the best thing for a plus up on this sandwich would be the Pepper Plant Original California Style Hot Pepper Sauce. Shake well. Not too sure how hot this is, but I'll, uh, I'll put it on fairly liberally. All right, put it back together. Cut diagonally and reveal. All right, let's give this lime jelly and tuna salad sandwich plussed up with the pepper plant California style hot pepper sauce a go. That's what it was missing. A little bit of heat. A little bit of smokiness, tamps down just a little bit extra it needed, that artificial lime flavor. But you still get a little bit of sourness from the lime. The tuna's in there, bite of the onion, the crunch from the celery. It's actually not bad. Okay, the original lime, jello, and tuna sandwich. I'm going to give that maybe a six. I'm going to say six because... It wasn't spectacular, a little bit oversweet, a uh, bit of extra steps just getting that jello set up, but uh, still tasted pretty good. If it was at a 
funeral or a wake or a wedding or whatever in the maritime provinces of Canada? I'd probably eat one or two, sure. Plussed up with the pepper plant California style hot pepper sauce, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give that a 7.5. That's a pretty tasty little number right there. The heat and the bit of smokiness kind of further balances out some of that sweet and that artificial lime flavor. It's actually a pretty tasty tuna salad sandwich. Would I make it again? No, I think I'll probably continue to keep my lime jello and my tuna salad sandwiches separate. But did I enjoy making it? Of course I did. Did I enjoy having Barry let me fill in for him today? I certainly did. For sandwiches of history, for sandwiches of Canada, the lime jelly tuna fish sandwich. Good day.